Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to make a quick test of my new microscope and I will show you what it actually does and uh, what it can do and what it can't do. And I'm going to use this PCB over here. This is the PCB I soldered. It has components from 1206 all the way down to 0603. And I'm currently also recording with my new microscope, which is actually just an action camera with a macro lens installed. Okay, so here's everything you need to know about lenses for action cameras. The most basic thing is what do you want to do with it. So you have to choose your lens, the, the angle, the, the zoom, the focus, everything. But that's down to you. It, depends on what you try to achieve with your action camera and the modification. Uh, second thing is the lens inside. Typically what these cameras have is an M12 socket. So the lens you buy needs to fit into an M12 socket. These are the two most basic things. And if you want to recreate this microscope this lens over here is sold as a CCTV macro lens. And I have to admit that I did not look for a specific focal length or anything, just a generic one, the cheapest one. This was the cheapest one I could get on eBay. I bought it and installed it and you saw the result. It's pretty nice. So if you choose a lens, the type of lens, depends on your use case the only thing is, that you have to make sure is that it fits in and as I said these cameras they use an M12 socket and lenses for action cameras they are not only sold as action camera lenses you will find many more lenses that will uh, suit your purpose if you search for CCTV lenses there are more out there than action camera lenses and typically CCTV lenses are less expensive than action camera because they're not called action camera. That's also a thing that you uh, should keep in mind and look out for uh, other lenses. The quality of the lenses doesn't change with the name, it's just the name and the price. So CCTV camera lens, M12 socket and you're good to go. And as I said, the one I have is a macro lens. It's for CCTV cameras. It has a zoom and a focus. So I have to manually adjust. And because I'm not gluing them in place, uh, I have to hold onto this piece over here and then move them individually around to either zoom in or zoom out and focus. But that's not a big deal for me, as I'm just using it as a microscope, don't really walk around. But if you, let's say you want to use a modified action camera for a sport, if you're doing any sport with a better lens, you obviously need to glue it in. But you shouldn't use a strong glue, like, um, I think, hot glue should be strong enough. But then again... One of these lenses you're not focusing them well i'm not going to glue it in i'm using it as it is and i have to hold on to it and yes now that i think about it it makes sense to glue them in place because the ones uh, that you that are not focusable you have to screw them far enough in so you are in focus so if it changes you're getting out of focus so using I think hot glue is the best way to go because it's easily removable and doesn't harm the parts the camera is currently held in place by an arm which is uh, for tablets I made this adapter myself over here and the camera points down and it's currently let's see the lowest part of the lens is 21.5 millimeter away from the PCB and if I were to work I would obviously use something like this and the 
the whole sorry the whole uh, microscope would go further up so approximately 20 centimeters of space between my working piece and the lens is pretty awesome to be honest and as you can see over here and I will um, show you the footage in parallel when I take a look here it's currently focused and I have to say I will blend in the video blend in no I will link the video in the way I sold it this PCB and if you take a look in this video I had a lot of focusing issues these are mostly resolved and also the image quality got a little bit better because I installed an infrared filter but beside that um, yeah it's just as before but the biggest problem in the soldering video was actually the helping hand I used this thing uh, was um, shifting the PCB uh, up and down and everything so it got out of focus and that's the biggest downside of one of these these solutions because the lens is not automatic focusing it's manual focus you have to focus it but if you're not changing the height of the PCB it will always stay in focus and as you can see it looks pretty good so one of these cameras can either be directly hooked to a laptop which will work just fine as a uh, webcam or which is also really awesome you can pair your camera for example to a tablet the problem with that is depending on where you get your Chinese camera and depending on your tablet you have to test many 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 apps before you can find one that pairs the action camera to your tablet. I still have to search for one that pairs the action camera with my tablet. The action camera can be paired to my smartphone but this is currently what I'm using to film so unfortunately I can't show you that but here is a bit of footage and yeah that's really awesome and as I said the only downside till now is that you have to manually focus it if it is once in focus you can move all the way around but you can't change the height of the PCB this is the only downside but I might work on this a bit more and maybe I can figure out a way in program to go around that but for now what I will do in the future if I have to solder such small components is hook the action camera directly to my laptop and watch what I'm doing on the laptop screen instead so this is just a really quick and small video to show you what you can do by modifying an action camera with a lens modifying an action camera can improve the image quality and uh, you don't have to use macro lens I am using a macro lens you don't have to do that you can use any lens it will improve image quality and you can do so many modifications and these action cameras they are not that expensive a good USB camera something that would be comparable to one of these costs approximately $100 upwards the reason for that is the working distance you get many many USB um, microscopes but they rarely achieve 20 centimeters of working distance with this much of magnification and that what is what I think is really awesome so I hope you liked this small video it was just to show what you can do by modifying an action camera you can make it to a microscope which is pretty awesome I think and it doesn't cost that much you can get action cameras like these for $40 one of these macro lenses is $10 so $50 a bit of time and I have a video for you I will link in over here where I completely disassembled it and showed you the extraction process for the lens it's pretty simple it, it's not complicated the only thing the only advanced tool you need is some rotary tool with a grinding bit that's it that's the most advanced tool the rest is just 
knife, screwdriver, that's it. And your hands. So, as I said, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment down below. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!